Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how you can add a user reset password in your Firebase application using Vue.js. In the previous video, we learned how we can update uh, the profile information in the user database. In this video, I will show you how you can change the username, email, password, and confirmation like that. And so this is related to account. This information would not be easily accessible if you want to access them and display them here. But uh, I mean, you can use the the Firebase admin API to change all of those settings but for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some small instruction on how you can change the account setting in the Firebase so basically if you go to your Firebase application in your uh, authentication the user information which are saved here uh, we are going to change some of these like user password you can reset the password here but what we are going to do is we are going to reset their password in the user profile here so let's see how you can do that one there are uh, like any other way there are multiple ways of doing it you can do it in the same user form you can choose a user profile and then you can save the changes all of them are possible but if i come to the documentation coming to the authentication again you are going to the authentication tab and the user management here so now in the right hand side if you check out the send a password reset email there are many ways like you can set username and password the, here is one way you can update a password and you can pass a password like you can use the get secure random password it will give you a random character for the password and it can save it uh, i will show you some of the example for example if someone click on the save changes you can check out which one of these fields have been changed uh, mostly you check for the new password and you see if the password yeah the new password and the password confirmation is correct you will save this to to the database so one way is that one which you can take the user password the other way is you don't care about them you just save you can generate a unique password for them and then you can email them for them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, use the send password reset email so this is the the example i'm going to use you can use any of them so let's see how you can do this one first of all I, I will just create a button here I'm not going to use this one these are easy I just want to give you it to do it for example if you if you come to update user profile this is how you can change the name the photo URL you can do this one you can update the email address it will be again the same thing but for the user password I will use the email one so let's see how it will successfully work first of all I will add the button so i will scroll up in the profile picture here i'm going to duplicate this button i will write a note for the user should not use the form if you are using the code on uh, which is available on the github so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to change it to reset password email anything you can write and the button should be success and the type is submit type should not be submit it should be button and it is going to trigger any click event so the click event is going to call the reset password function so what the reset password function is going to do i'm going to declare it now so i will come to the method here and here is what it is going to do so i will write out the function to reset the password first of all you must have an email you know how you get uh, it should be an actual email so it should receive the email for you if i come here here is the reset using the email so what i'm going to do is i'm going to log out and create another user with an email that can receive the email for now it, that, is, that this is a general or a random email so i'm going to go to getting start i'm log out now going to sign up and I will write some name and email address so I cannot use my own email address because I have already registered so I am I'm going to use the a fake mail generator here is called email fake.com so you can they are going to give you some random email address you can receive the email so this is going to be the name is email and this is going to be the email address and we are going to pick a random password so I will save it for now yeah you are logging and here is your email so this is going to be the same email here so let's see if it will work if we are going to reset their password coming to profile account setting 
I just want to say if someone click on this one send me an email pass and with a password reset and we are going to do that one so here is the code for that I will copy this one and I will paste it in our reset function here so I'm going to customize it first of all we don't have Firebase we have FB if I scroll up yes we have imported FB which refer to the Firebase the same thing as Firebase and we store that uh, to the user here to the auth variable let's use let or const because we are the auth is going to be a constant we are not going to change anything about this variable so we use the const here so what I can do is instead of the email address writing like this I'm going to use the authenticated user email address so you know how you can use that one so it is going to send an email so after it send the email it is going to trigger the then function so let's quickly write down some ES6 functions here instead of the old way of writing I'm going to write an ES6 function so this is going to be easy and I'm going to console.log for now email sent or if you are going to receive any error so you can console.log the error so if I save it for now let's see if it is working so this email variable is not acceptable here you can say auth dot email so it should refer to the authenticated user email address so let's see if it is working just fine or not so I will save it for now let's come to our application going to the console I will clear everything for now we do not have any error coming to the re uh, account setting if I click on the reset password email it is going to give us the error of email must be a valid string so if I come here we have the auth email address here you do not have access to the auth variable like this so if you check out auth.email you do not have access to the email currently here so if I console.log to show you how you can access the authenticated user information you just write the auth here there is console.log to see what it is going to output so I will clear everything I will wait for a second to save all the changes and you can click on the reset password it is going to console.log if you open this one the first one you have to use the current one the current user to get the current user information then you have access to email display name and all other information so I will ha come here and instead of this one we will use the current user and it is going to give us the current user so for now if I save it this time coming to application here let us come to the account setting and click the reset password oops so you can see we have the same reset password email this time so you cannot write it directly here so what you can do is you can say current user that email so if you save it this time and auth dot current user should display the current user information so again I will clear everything click on the reset password here is the current user this is going to be the ID and these are all the information you have like email and everything else so as you can see we have the email sent has been console.log here so it means it works just fine for now so I can remove this part here again indent it this is how you can get the current user email address so I will save it for now let's come to user email password and the uh, email fake as you can see you have received the email so if you click on the link here you can reset your password here so you scroll down this is the link you can click on the link and it is going to give you a unique URL for your, your application now you can write your new password so this is the generate the the new generated password so I will copy this on the clipboard and I will show you if you can log in using the new password so you can save it and it will give you a success message here the user has changed their password and now if I log out so going to the login in the email first of all I will paste the password then I will come for the email because I forgot what was the email since this was a random email address so we put the email now click the login we wait for a second yes it successfully login and the user uh, reset password works just fine so if I come here 
we remove all the console.log and instead of this one what I can do is I can just give a flash notification so if we scroll up or down you know we have used the toast fire already we have used the sweet alert so instead of this one we can again use the toast here so to give a little notification success and instead of the update we can say email sent so you save it for now and let's see if it work if we change the password again we come here click on the reset password we get the notification of email sent you will come here you must receive your second email uh, after a while so you know it works just fine yeah here is your second email you can open it and this is the timing so i hope it has been informative for you thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video and more videos are coming out so see you in the next video